work is focused on developing new forms of energy storage in fabric. I really was not sure what I wanted to do in high school. I was very interested in art as well as technology, but I went the art route and I went into fashion design. But of course, once I got to fashion design, do you do ball gowns, do you do sportswear? And I really wasn't sure what to do yet. And then when I discovered wearable technology, it just kind of clicked for me. For people who want to go into wearable technologies, it's really smart to study a variety of different sciences and engineering. So for wearables, it makes sense to study biology, engineering, so electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. A lot of human factor design, such as industrial design, is also very important in how we develop wearable products. I think what's most exciting is the fact that we're really pulling from a variety of fields to create these new technologies. I've been able to collaborate between material science, fashion design, this amazing lab, electrical engineering, chemistry departments at other universities, and in some cases we even meet and sit down with companies and discuss what are the possibilities. Math, engineering, science, everything, it's not easy. And certainly for someone like myself who doesn't have the greatest math skills, if you are really really persistent, you push forward, and you have good ideas, someone's going to take notice. You don't have to be a PhD with 12 years of school. Uh, you can start working on this stuff with two years of school right after high school. When you go to your college, let's say, uh, manufacturing degree, you learn things where, you know what, I need to make a lot of these little things, but I need to make it cost effective. So you figure out ways to make it into a nice rectangular form where you can pop these things out. This is actually for a smartwatch, and this is how we do it. People that graduate with training and education at community colleges sometimes go into jobs that didn't even exist five years ago. So if you look in the future, there'll be new jobs out there that don't exist today. I had opportunities in high school and college to go to companies and spend time um, to do internships that helped a lot. So I'd advise anybody who's got an interest to go out and see, am I really interested in that? It sounds good, right? But is it really what I want? We're working with several community colleges now to create what's called learn and earn type programs where a student might get recruited by both the company and the school at the same time, work for several days a week, go to school for several days a week while drawing a paycheck to pay for their school. They graduate in two or four years and they're hired right up by that same company or one like it. But the experience and the education created all at the same time. One good way to get involved in the wearable industry early is to play around in the maker space. So there's been a lot of material recently on integrating electronics into clothing. You need to go visit fairs. You need to go to the maker events in your local towns and communities. A lot of universities have been having open days, exploring you know, the trajectory of wearables and how exciting it is. You know, many students are interested in how they can make a contribution in our world. And when you think about wearable technologies, there are some real opportunities there to potentially help people.